Once upon a time, in a peaceful village far, far away, lived an elderly couple who shared their cozy little house with a chubby, lazy cat named Milo. Milo wasn't the only creature making a home in the couple's cottage. A large family of mice had secretly claimed the walls and floors as their own. These mice were nimble and cautious, darting out to snatch crumbs only when they were sure Milo wouldn't see them. Each night, as the moon cast its glow over the cottage, the mice would huddle up in their tiny nests, whispering plans about how to sneak out, grab food, and return undetected. They scurried with swift, silent feet, and whenever Milo's sharp gaze caught sight of them, it became a wild chase. One day, as the mice gathered for a meal, Milo lay just outside their hole, watching with squinting eyes. Mommy Mouse kept her family close, urging them, kids, hurry up and eat. Milo is right outside. But just as she spoke, the clever cat swiftly shoved his paw into the mouse hole, and the family scattered in a frantic dash. In the chaos, Milo's claws snagged Princess, the tiniest mouse, by her tail. Help! Princess squeaked, squirming and pulling with all her might. Her brother Panko saw her plight and, summoning all his courage, dashed forward, yanked Princess free, and they both scurried back into safety. Milo growled in frustration, defeated yet again, and stomped back to his bed, grumbling as he settled in. The following day, the mouse family gathered in a secret council to discuss their problem. Milo was too stealthy, they agreed. He moved so quietly that they never knew when he was lurking nearby, waiting to pounce. They needed a plan, something clever and daring. Each mouse put forth ideas, but none seemed foolproof. Then, little Gonzo, a curious and quick-witted mouse, jumped up with excitement. I've got it. Let's put a jingle bell collar on Milo. Then, whenever he comes near, we'll hear the bell and have time to hide. The family cheered at the idea. What a brilliant plan. But as the excitement wore off, a question hung in the air. Who would be brave enough to put a collar on Milo? The mice all hesitated, glancing nervously at one another. I'll do it, Gonzo announced with determination, even as his siblings gasped in surprise. That night, the mice prepared for their most daring mission. Father Mouse kept a close watch on Milo as he prowled the house, inspecting each room and corner before finally curling up for a nap. As Milo slept, the mice sprang into action. One of them carefully closed the lid on the kitchen pot so no son of food would waft over to Milo. Another mouse placed tiny sponge pieces in Milo's ears, muffling any noise that might wake him. Then came the moment of truth. With careful paws and quiet hearts, Father Mouse and the family lowered Gonzo on a thread down toward Milo's head. The brave little mouse dangled above the snoozing cat, clutching the jingle bell collar with trembling hands. Holding his breath, Gonzo slipped the collar around Milo's neck and gave a quick nod to his family. Mission accomplished. The mouse family scurried back into their hole, their hearts pounding with relief and excitement. The next day, as the mice gathered for breakfast, they suddenly heard a faint jingling sound. Milo was prowling nearby, but this time, the mice had the upper hand. Whenever the bell tinkled, they knew exactly where Milo was and had plenty of time to dart back to safety. From that day on, the clever mice lived with newfound confidence. They no longer feared Milo's surprise pounces, and every time they heard the faint jingle of his collar, they'd share a smile and a nod, knowing their plan had worked perfectly. The village may have stayed quiet and peaceful, but within the walls of that little cottage, the mice celebrated their clever victory over Milo, their not-so-sneaky predator. And every night, as the mice drifted off to sleep, they listened to the distant jingle of Milo's collar, a sound that had come to mean freedom, safety, and a happily ever after.